so this is our second year uh, doing Dine in the Dark for the National Council of the Blind Ireland. Um, we done it last year and it was a huge success, so we decided to go again with it this year. Um, I suppose it's a great evening for people to come out and enjoy the evening. Uh, it's a great experience for people to have a meal with, uh, without their sight. Everyone is given a blindfold, uh, they sit around the table um, and they enjoy the food. Now there is no menus, so they don't know what they're eating. And when I put the menu together, I tried to use as much uh, locally produced food in uh, Mayo as I could. Uh, all our vegetables this evening came from either our own farm out the back of the restaurant or uh, Joe Kelly in uh, Kilchema. Uh, we used Kilchema fallow deer from Tommy Carroll. We had velvet cloud yogurt there this evening. We had uh, Galway goat's farm, uh, goat's cheese. Um, and I say everything uh, went really well, thank God. I suppose a big thing with people, um, they say like 90% uh, 90, 90 of people eat with their eyes. If something doesn't look appealing, uh, they nearly have their mind made up on the taste before they even taste it. I know people have a habit too, they sit down at the table for their dinner, they lace it with salt before they even taste it. So this was a great, uh, a great experience for people uh, not knowing what they were getting. Uh, we had uh, goat's cheese out there this evening. I went out after every course, I asked people what they thought they were eating. Some people thought it was feta, some people thought it was a, a moose of some sort. The same way with the venison, people were shouting up oxtail, other people were shouting up liver. Um, we had tofu for vegetarians, Pe vegetarians even never had tofu before. So it was just a great, uh, a great way for people to uh, experience. Even we had the likes of kohlrabi there this evening, a veg. Some people thought it was cheese, which is absolutely bonkers. Uh, considering the flavour of kohlrabi, which is a cross between a turnip and a cabbage, and some people thought it was cheese. So it's just, uh, it's very unusual and it was really good fun. So all proceeds from this evening is going to the National Council of the Blind and all the staff are uh, giving their tips this evening as well. So uh, it's a great charity. Um, we've done it last year and we're doing it again next year hopefully. And uh, it's just nice to give something back uh, now and again. So I suppose on behalf of myself and all here at House Splits, just like to thank you all for coming. And I hope you enjoyed your night and very worthy cause, uh, the National Council for the Blind Ireland. And uh, thanks for making that for everybody. So. Just, just before I finish up, uh, we have somebody here tonight with a very special birthday. So here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Happy birthday to you. I thought it was a brilliant night. Uh, it was fabulous food, really interesting experience. Um, I guess I realised from it that it's. Uh, quite isolating when you can't 
properly see people uh, when you're talking and trying to get the food onto the fork <laughs> was interesting. That was, that was the hard part, definitely, definitely. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't use a knife at all. Uh, so it just kind of, I guess, opened my eyes, even though... Yeah, pardon the pun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it makes you definitely more aware of what people are going through. It's 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 a really lonely place when you really don't know what's going on around you. Yeah. But um, it's a fantastic experience, and I think everyone should really, really come and come and do it because I think it's it really makes you so much aware of of, of what goes on and what we we really don't realize what, what people live. Yeah, definitely. I'd advise anybody to come and try it and give it a go. It's really good. Uh, this uh, very good, very good food, very good uh, cooker, chef, chief, and drink and our restaurant very good, very nice. Smell, yeah, smell sensitive, very good. Well, I have to say it was very different. It's I've never tried it before, and um, it. I said during the meal actually it was a real eye opener. Uh, I had to say, pardon the pun, um, but it, it really. It was like something we'd never done before, and um, we Definitely have to taste all the different flavors. Yeah, of the food. there was a lot of taste a lot yeah. Different there was a lot of guesswork going on, and we were wrong <laughs> with a lot of stuff. Yeah, but it was really tasty food, and compliments to the chef. Yeah, really. And we really it. Yeah, and I uh, would recommend it definitely, and maybe we'll do it again next year. Our glasses and things that we just took for granted when we were eating, the yeah. food was, was better, but the whole experience was kind of unnerving a little bit too, you know, when you're so used to being able to see and then not being able yeah. to do it at all. So definitely yeah. just appreciate our sight. Yeah. We, do, yeah, we did say it's the little things you take for granted yeah, in life yeah, yeah. and yeah, just even having a cup of tea or having a meal, it's... It's a small thing that can become a big thing, and yeah. um, even the waiting staff were excellent because they came and you know they touched our shoulders when they were coming behind us, and us, yeah. we didn't even realise they were there half the time. But it was great; really enjoyed it, yeah. And um, yeah, we'll be back.